Hello and welcome to this second Blitz Plus beginner tutorial by Orange Moon Network. In this tutorial I'll be building up upon the high low number guesser program. Okay, so first of all, um we're just going to set out the text um a bit more neatly when you run it because when you guess the number um it's all compact. Um there's no real lines in between the different segments. So what we're going to do is simply make it um look a lot neater. So just first of all, after it tells you to guess a number, just print, and then just two quotation marks with no text. So I'll just print a line of nothing, so then you've got an indent. Then we'll do one here as well. Print, two quotation marks. I'm using F5 here to run. Um, now, if we try it, 50, too high, um, it looks a lot neater. Okay, that's the first thing. Now we're going to make it so that you can play again. Um, now to do this, we're going to use something called um, labels or go to. So at the start of the program, um, just above here, we're going to set um, this as what we call a label. So we'll point in the program. So we'll put it just before um, where it picks a number. So each time you do it, it will change the number. So we'll call this dot start. That dot just means that it's a label. So this is the place where we want to go back to the start. Um, and now, after you finish the game, we're going to make it so you can play again. So first of all, we're going to say again, and then put a dollar sign. So this is going to be a variable. And the dollar sign means it's got strings in it. And a string is just um, a letter or um, something that you can type in on the keyboard. So um, just think of it as that means it's a text variable. So again equals input and um, then in brackets and quotation marks would you like to play again? Question mark. Um, now I'm, I'm putting a space at the end so then when you put your input it's not um, right next to the question. There's a um, space gap. Just looks a bit neater again. Um, so that means that what you type in, so say you say yes, is what again equals. After here, we're going to print two quotation marks so it looks neater again. Okay. Now this um, part here is where we're going to, um, where we're going to make it so that you can choose to play again. So we're going to um, look at what um, the again variable is, which is what the players put in. So we're going to use another new command called select. So select, you'll see it goes yellow because it's got a command. Um, now we're going to select again. So now um, it'll be looking at the variable again. Um, and like some commands like, you know, repeat and until, um, you need something to end the command and the thing that ends it is called end space select so I'm just putting that at the end first so then when I run it it will always work so now I've got looking at again we're going to do case now what this does is saying um, for example if again is um, so we'll put in quotation marks y so now It'll, it will do what would happen if the again is the letter Y um, that the players put in. And then, so if it's that, we're going to type go to, G O T O, and then start. So, and if you put in um, Y for yes, it will go back to the start and it will run it again. Um, now, the reason I'm putting it in up, uppercase um, rather than do it in uppercase and lowercase or one is because um, it takes up less room so what I'm going to do is rather than just select again I'm going to select upper and then put again in brackets now what upper does is it makes it uppercase so if you put a lowercase y it will look at the uppercase version of it so we don't need to type in case y lowercase again <laughs> it's quite confusing don't worry if you don't understand everything just go along with it um, and hopefully you'll pick a few things up so I'm going to say case capital N 
if you say no then we'll do n so it'll end the program i'll do case cases yes then we'll go to start case uppercase no um then end and now hopefully if we run this it should work so guess the number i'll just try and do this quickly too low too high too high too low too high too low okay well then you've guessed it would you like to play again say so i put lowercase yes and it goes back to the start because it reads it as the uppercase yes so that's working and now we're going to make it so that it tells you how many guesses it's taken you so what you what we're going to do is after you've taken a guess um, we're going to make it so it would increase the number of guesses you've had so we'll put a variable up here called guesses and we'll say that equals zero um, so that's the number of guesses it's taken you so here after you've made a guess we'll say guesses equals guesses plus one so it will equal itself with another one on top of it so basically it's just adding one to the variable each time you make a guess and so um, when it says well then you've guessed it we're going, to, we're going to change that slightly so it tells you how many guesses you've taken so you've guessed it in space um, then we're going to do something where you can um, say what a variable is on the program so you do plus and then you put in the variable guesses put another plus um, you put another plus if you want to continue um, the text after it and I'll have a space guesses um, so it will say well then you've guessed it in so it'll have a space in between um, what it says the variable is so, so it might say you've guessed in 10 guesses um, so now that should tell you how many guesses it's taken you so let's run it and see guess the number okay 50 too low 75 too low 90 too high 80 too low 85 too high 83 well done you've guessed it in six guesses which you can see one two three four five six and then you can play again um say i say no it ends okay that concludes um the programming for this tutorial um in fact first i'm going to show you something which might help you so that um if you want to run your program or game without blitz um or show it to a friend or something you can make it so it runs by itself you just go to program and create executable now it will come up with this because um, it should have debugging on which would slow it down so it cancel just go to program and untick debug enabled create executable um, get, give it a name hello number guesser and then if you go to that folder you should have your file if you double click on it it should run um, this, there we go um, that took a while but it's, it's running now one last thing in fact to, on the program um, because after here um, it's just presuming you've put in a, ye a y and n or a yes or a no you might just type in any old thing um, so what we're going to do is say print input in valid and then we're going to make it go back to where it asks you would you like to play again so we'll put another label here so dot and we'll call it um, choice so then after that we'll say go to choice okay so that's the end of this blitz plus beginner tutorial by orange moon network Thank you for watching, hope this has been useful.